Hi guys, welcome to Good Dog Grooming. My name's Colleen and this is Augie. Okay guys, so should or shouldn't you pluck the ears? Augie gets his ears plucked. He needs them plucked. I've got a whole video covering ear plucking controversy. So link in the description to that. Now the first step is always to shave this as close to the ear canal as possible. I've got another video explaining how I do that. So link in the description for that. All right, y'all, let's talk about ear powder. I've heard advice online talking about the more the merrier, just sprinkle more and more and more ear powder in there because you can grip the hair. And I get the point, but I don't agree because I've also seen forums talking about, especially from groomers with experience, how they have found dog ears with clumps of greasy ear powder. So when it gets clumpy and gets jammed down in there and you don't get it all out, that can create a problem. You can always make yourself a little pile on the table and just get it on your fingers like that and then grip and grab the hair. Just like a climber chalking up their hands to grab the rocks, all right? Get it on your own hand, dip your fingers, okay? Whatever you want. But that, if you are trying to avoid putting ear powder directly in the dog's ear, this is an idea to do that, okay? And I do not recommend that you stick this in the ear and poof it in. Don't do that. All right, too much, too deep. All right, so let's start here. On a dog like Augie, I do actually put the ear powder directly in the ear, but I don't put as much as humanly possible. See how I've got it on the surface like that? And then I make sure it breaks up completely. His hair is just so thick that it actually is all going to catch most of that powder on the actual ear hairs, okay? Now the other strategy we use here when we start plucking is a little at a time. I don't like to grab a lot at a time, okay? A little at a time. It takes a little more patience, but it'll come out. The ear hairs are not as secured as far as like in the follicle. So this is not the same as pulling like body hair out. It's like attached more lightly. And that's why it doesn't hurt them. But if a dog has, let's say, an ear infection or they're particularly sensitive, they do not like it. But in general, like a dog like Augie, he's not getting hurt by this, especially because I'm doing such few hairs at a time. Good boy. And if I pulled a big clump, he definitely would protest. Good boy. He's already flinching a little bit. You're doing great, buddy. Another thing on a dog like this, you know, I don't try to get all 100% of it. I just get as much as I can. I get it pretty well cleared out and we call it good. Good boy. Now I want you to be careful of your fingernails. So I am mostly plucking with my fingertips and I'm trying to avoid scratching the inner ear with my fingernail because the skin in here is so sensitive and you really can scratch it and create red scratches and things like that. There we go, buddy. He's just about done on this here. We'll get a little bit more of this stuff here. Some groomers will use hemostats. Let me show you a demo of that. All right, this is gonna be an aid in grabbing the hair if you need it. Now, I actually prefer not to use these and I find that I don't need to. It's very rare that I need to, but I'm still gonna show you a little trick that I figured out. First of all, it's never a bad idea to get some powder on the hemostats. All right, they already have little teeth for gripping, little grooves. All right, if I were reaching in to get Augie's ear hair, all right, what I've found is that if you take these hemostats while they are closed, not open, don't be reaching in the ear like this, because it's so easy to grab these flaps, okay? And he has so many little bumps and flaps in there. So what I do is with them closed, I will run it down one of these channels and then lightly open and grab and pull. All right, now that, there's not much left in here to get. Good boy, hold on. But with it closed, reach in down one of those channels. Okay, again, going in with the hemostats closed. Run it down the channel. Open them, find some hair. Oh, is that too tickly? Too tickly, hold on. Oh, did that tickle you? <laughs> He's a good boy. This is really why I prefer to use my fingers anyways. Especially when he's got such big ears. Hold on, hold on. All right. 
find that channel. Run them down a little bit, then find some hair. Pull it on up. Now, honestly, I'm telling you, man, I like using my fingers better. Okay. Let me see, buddy. All right, so it's not perfectly clean, but that's all we need to get. 